Hi, Sagittarius and Sagittarius Rising friends, Sandra from Four Year Chi. This is your February of 2024 tarot and our oracle card monthly reading. Thanks for being here and welcome to February. Same, same story here. First six houses on YouTube, the remainders on Patreon. Link is below. I'll also put my booking link for those of you that want to book a session. But let's see how your February starts out here. First couple of days of February base chakra could be better you going through the motions you not having a little fun this could be a little lethargy you could also be experiencing a little depression uh, this depression could be seasonal february used to be the worst month for me in that regard what is the advice card to walk away from toxic people in toxic situations this card says, Walk, leave the unhealthy situation, enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Okay, there it is. Now, your second house, your money, your stuff, you're trying to figure out where to put your money, how to spend it, or perhaps, dare I say it, how to save it. The summertime, you pulled a summertime card here. Let me read this to you. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summer related to money or tangible items. So if it's something that you are looking to buy, it's not time to buy. It's time to do the research and perhaps set money aside. If that is your message, if you're not looking to buy something, then this is talking about something completely different. This is either talking about how you make money or this is talking about how you're going to get more money. And yes, that could be some form of an investment, okay? Your third house, brother or sister, they have a radical life change coming. Uh, it's completely different. Out with the old, in with the new. They pulled the springtime, okay? So this could be right around the corner for them. The bottom of this card says, your ideas and desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom, okay? So you may have to have a conversation with them about that if you want to. Your fourth house, your house of home where you currently live, creative ideas are coming to you in your home. Uh, you could be visualizing of what you want to do, change, or how you want to redecorate, or how you want to move the furniture. This could also be talking about you um, crafting in your home and then selling those items later. <laughs> look at look at the uh, oracle card here. Express your individuality. Uh, the bottom of this card says allow your true self to shine because you're awesome this feels like really good energy in your home it supports you in many ways but for now for the month of february it's supporting your creative elements and that you're really getting into something here um you know crafting making something artwork i don't know you know you could be a baker uh you could be a writer something like this, an artist. And you're really in this element when you're spending your home time, home free time. You could also have a visitor who fits this description. Doesn't have to necessarily be someone in the Red Hat Society, but you know what I mean. Your fifth house, your social life, your fun, your friends. This is where it's at for you. You've got the heart chakra in with the flower power here. Flower power talks about essential oils, but also back remedies if you're into that. Um, I would say yes to social invitations right now. You're going to have a lot of fun. You can meet cool people, but you also might be hosting a special event like we are your sixth house work and health crown chakra you are being given downloads here related to your work or health that come in the form of as reddit has said the shower thoughts this could be 
where the ideas come to you in the bathroom because of the running water of what you need to do here but they're also talking about someone that you need to forgive now if there's an element of forgiveness that needs to happen it's possible that you could be experiencing physical ailments physical symptoms perhaps pain in your body because your body's trying to tell you that you need to forgive someone here now the bottom of this card says as you release old angle or anger or resentment you will find that your wish comes true well that's a huge one right especially when we're talking about health health is a biggie and if you've struggled with it um, perhaps you need to do some ho'oponopono if you don't know what I'm talking about look it up online it's H-O apostrophe O-P and if you and then spell out the rest of the word but if you just type in H-O apostrophe O-P it'll come right up Joe, I think his name is Dispensa, wrote a book about that. And um, that book will teach you all about that. All right, let's get into your tarot cards of who's around you in your seventh house of primary relationships before we go to the extended reading. Let's see what we got here. Ha, huh. you got the judgment card. Okay, that's a Scorpio, your traditional Scorpio page of rods so this is another fire sign another sag or a leo or an aries you also have swords here aqua libra or gemini okay so we've got uh seven zodiac signs on the board if you want to follow me in the extended like i said links link is below patreon tier two is what you want we're going to be going over your seventh house of primary relationships, including business partnerships, if that applies, your eighth house of taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, if that applies also, your ninth house of school and travel, your tenth house of career or your mother, your eleventh house of your child or your best friend, the twelfth house is what it's, what's about to happen in three months from now in the month of May. Many blessings to you, Sag. Take care.